In what will become the largest domestic spying operation in history, the National Security Agency, or NSA, is building a top-secret facility just south of Salt Lake City, Utah. The Utah Data Center, which is currently under construction at the southern end of Camp Williams, a Utah National Guard base, is slated to be a 1 million square foot repository of all digital communications in the United States and abroad. As this report will show you, there is a growing connection between the NSA and the LDS Church, also known as the Mormons, connected to the Church's long-standing practice of sending missionaries out to foreign countries. Missionaries, who typically serve two-year terms as messengers of their religion, often travel to foreign countries, earn top-secret clearances, and learn language skills at the Missionary Training Center near Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. A deeper, darker course is also being taught, however, at BYU, one which may involve those who return from their missionary travels spying on American citizens. Well, we look at, uh, we look at the mathematics behind cryptography. Uh, we look at classical encryption, uh, something as easy as a, a substitution cipher or a kind of a cryptogram puzzle. Uh, but then we also look at more modern methods of encryption uh, and, and methods of, of, of sharing data um, that, that use more sophisticated mathematics. Uh, now, the mathematics behind this is, you know, it, it, it's at a level that, that undergraduate students can't understand it uh, with, with, uh, with, with, with just a little bit of math background. In fact, we've taught this to incoming freshmen here at BYU and, and you know, to, to a point where you can understand these, the RSA algorithm and, and, and other modern encryption algorithms. The Utah National Guard, headquartered only five miles from the NSA super facility, houses a brigade of Army linguists called from the ranks of those former missionaries with overseas experience. Major Bruce Roberts, the public affairs officer for the Utah National Guard, admitted as much in a phone interview with Infowars.com. In the National Guard, we have a unique capability. We have linguists here, an entire linguist brigade. And that's a military intelligence unit, and, and it, it has two, what it gives you is two very key pieces of, of um, sort of a skill set, I guess, a very key skill set, and that are um, linguists that speak all kinds of different languages because of our return missionary population in Utah with top secret in, uh, clearances. And um, I think, you know, for years they've been trying to re recruit a lot of those linguists out to the D.C. area, and nobody's really, really leaving, willing to leave their home or leave Utah. Um, so they finally bought them to to us. Roberts declined to go on camera for this interview, but think about what he's alluding to, that many of the young men and women who return home to Utah with language skills may learn to be cryptographers for the national security apparatus. What more could the NSA ask for? Now the location I'm standing at here in Bluffdale, you can see right behind me where they're building the NSA facility, the largest single spy operation in American history right here in the heart of Utah. Now we're in Thanksgiving Point, which is about as close as you can get to that facility. Now, average citizens, while still susceptible to being spied on by the NSA through their cell phones, email, and internet connections, do have an option when it comes to privacy. That privacy can come in the form of a number of commercially available encryption programs like PGP, or Pretty Good Privacy, and its freeware equivalent, GPG. Even though he is working to train future spies, Professor Jenkins explained why it's so hard for good cryptography like these programs to be broken. Now certainly having a lot of, in terms of attacking uh, something like this, having a lot of computing power helps. Uh, my understanding is that many of the algorithms that are in use today are powerful enough, searching through every key is not feasible. Uh, and so throwing more computing power at it may help a little bit, but many times is not going to actually help you break these systems using, using, that kind of, uh, using that kind of method. A federal court judge ruled in 2007 that while the government may want to know what you have in your encrypted files, forcing defendants to reveal their code keys would violate their Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. One Utah law enforcement officer, under Sheriff John Larson of Uinta County, told me there are specific requirements his department says that he must follow when trying to track cell phones. Current court decisions basically say without a warrant we cannot track cell phones. The only time that we utilize cell phone GPS locations is if we have somebody that's injured requesting immediate emergency assistance 
or maybe we have a person who is lost and we try to track them through that. They're basically, it's at their request, I'm lost and I need help. That being said, though, when you do have a warrant in hand from a, a judge or a justice of the peace, you can track a cell phone? Within the scope of that warrant, yes, we can. Although Larson states that a warrant is necessary to track citizens via their cell phone GPS, let us not forget about the FISA, or Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which allows warrantless wiretapping and tracking of Americans, all in the name of national security. Gary Woodbury, the former district attorney of Elko County, Nevada, which borders Utah, said he has little faith in the constitutionality of the government's efforts to spy on us, especially when no warrant is present. Can they listen to a conversation? And the answer is they cannot without a search warrant. Uh, in Nevada, for example, if a regular telephone, if you want to, if the authorities want to listen in on a telephone conversation, they've got to get consent of both parties and they've got to have a search warrant. They can probably, they probably have better luck uh, knowing who you're calling or a number you're calling without a search warrant. But I think to get in the actual conversations, I don't think they can do it without a warrant. The new NSA facility, a nefarious creation meant to spy on your most personal details, all in the name of national security, is nothing more than the newest weapon in the arsenal of those that want to bring this country down. Those power-hungry who sit in positions of control and work to whittle away the rights of you, the American citizens. Reporting for InfoWars Nightly News, from the Mountain West, I'm Greg Knight.